Welcome! I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to import, export, and download MIDI files that you can then use in MuseScore 3. By doing this, you will be able to convert a MIDI file into music notation that you can then edit in MuseScore. Let's get started. So you will want to have MuseScore open. And if you're, at, if you're at the beginning start center, you can just click out of that. First, we're going to learn how to import a MIDI file. So you will go up to File, and you'll notice there's no Import uh, button there. So um, you can import a PDF, but not a MIDI. So the way to find this is to go to File and then Open. And you will be able to open a MIDI file directly from your computer. So I've got a couple examples here. And the first MIDI file is a one that's a piano example. So I, all you need to do is just have a standard MIDI file saved that you would have uh, exported from a uh, DAW like Al Ableton uh, or uh, maybe like Cubase or something like that, um, or any other standard MIDI file. And then you click on it, and then you just press open. And now it's going to uh, convert that file into uh, the uh, notation. So uh, the main thing to I want to bring your attention to is the bottom uh, middle of the screen. It brought up the uh, import uh, panel here. And you'll see that uh, you can apply a couple different things to uh, the way it's imported. One of the main things I wanted to point out is that uh, when you import something uh, like a piano part, many times it will import it as two voices. And actually, when you think of it, you really just want it to be notated as one voice. So that's one change I want to make. So I'm going to go over here to, it says Max Voices, and I'm going to go ahead and drop that down. I'm going to go ahead and change that to one, and you're going to see it's going to change the way it's notated. So I'll press Apply, and then now uh, it changed the way that is notated into um, uh, with one voice rather than two voices. Uh, you can also change your quanti quantization. It will most likely use the quantization that was used uh, when uh, the MIDI file was created. So when I created this MIDI file, I used eighth note quantization. Uh, and so I can change it. Let's say I wanted it to be a quarter note. I can do that and then apply. And you'll see it, it changes several of the ways that the notation will be expressed on the, sc on the score. And again, you can change the instrument, uh, the sound, or the name. Um, you can uh, also tell it what kind of tuplets to use and any time signatures that might have been used with, uh, with route. And so this one is correct. It has the three, four time signature. Once I see everything's correct, um, you know, I can press apply and then I can X out of the uh, import um, panel. So now I have my score and you are free to edit it from this point on. Now you're going to notice there's going to be many things that uh, were not uh, brought over from the MIDI file. You can see there are no dynamic markings, for instance. So when I performed this, um, you know, I, I had certain dynamics that I used, so I'd have to go through and put those in. Uh, many times it marks mostly, most of all your notes as staccato, um, and so you're going to have to go through and, you know, click on a staccato and then delete each staccato um, because if, if you don't want that. Um, so there's still quite a bit of work to do once you've imported a MIDI file into uh, MuseScore. So uh, that's one way to import a MIDI file you already have created. Let's say uh, you wanted to import a MIDI file or download one from the MuseScore community. And this is one of the great things about MuseScore. So you can go to the Start Center. And right here at the online community, it says Find Sheet Music. Let's say I'm looking for a Beethoven, uh, Beethoven Symphony. And I want to uh, find a symphony that I can then um, save as a MIDI file. So uh, whenever I'm on uh, MuseScore, it will bring me to the website for Beethoven Symphony. And you have to look, um, the, if, you have a, if you have MuseScore Pro, which is a paid uh, program, um, then you can download those. But uh, I'm going to look for a free one. So anything that doesn't have the Pro. So this one is a, for Easy Piano. Um, let's go ahead and do that one. That one's fine. So I'll click on that. And since it's um, free, as long as you have an account set up, you will be able to go to the right-hand side of the screen and press Download. And then you can see you can download it as several things, a Muse score file, PDF, uh, or MIDI, so uh, or MP3. So I'm going to go for a MIDI file. And so now it's downloading on my computer. And then I'm going to go back to Muse score and then open a file, open a score. And I can go to my downloads and find the MIDI. So now I found the MIDI file that I downloaded. And now it's going to create the file as a uh, take the MIDI file and create the notation. Now you notice it's a lot different. So uh, a better way to bring something from MuseScore 
site into MuseScore is to download the MuseScore file instead of the MIDI file. But um, again, back to um, the community where I found the Beethoven Symphony. Um, this is just a, a wonderful way to take a piece of music that you'll see, uh, many of them, many of which are offered for free, and then download the MIDI file. And then you can take that MIDI file and then put the MIDI file into Ableton Live or Cubase or, again, any of the DAW uh, editors that you're working with. And uh, you, again, it'll be a standard uh, MIDI file. And then it will take that MIDI and you can then manipulate the MIDI file into uh, in the DAW. And again, to do that, you would uh, most likely just drag and drop uh, the file into a track in DAW, uh, the DAW that you're using. So uh, again, I, I just wanted to point that out because it's so powerful uh, that MuseScore offers that. And lastly, I wanted to show you how to um, export a uh, file as a MIDI. So uh, let's say we're working with a the file, the first file I was working with, and let's say I wanted to export. And so I'll go to File, and then Export, and then you'll see it. The it will default as a PDF. So instead of a PDF, I'm going to drag that down into a standard MIDI file or uh, .MIDI there. So again, uh, we've got the uh, MIDI file selected, and then I would just press Save, and then that would save this as a MIDI file that you can then again open in your um, DAW. Uh, that you can manipulate the uh, you know the MIDI file the way you would maybe want to change an instrument or you want to change notes or things like that. A quick note about when you export something as a MIDI file, it will most likely show up, uh, and whenever you export it, it will show up as many tracks as you had staves in the MuseScore file. So uh, if you have two staves in the MuseScore file, then it will most likely show up as two tracks um, uh, with the uh, DAW that you're using uh, to manipulate it that way. Uh, again, just a note when you're importing and exporting uh, MIDI. And uh, one thing again, just to point out is that, uh, you know, importing and exporting MIDI is not by no means perfect, but it can save you a lot of time and energy um, by, you know, if you know how to play an instrument, you can um, record something um, in uh, another soft piece of software, export it as a MIDI file, and then bring it into um, MuseScore, and you'll have the sheet music just about ready to go. You just have to go through it, edit it, and that, that can save actually a lot more time than if you were to just put in everything um, from scratch in MuseScore. So uh, you now know how to import, export, and download uh, MIDI files uh, to convert into a MuseScore file. Uh, I have other uh, MuseScore tutorials uh, available. Uh, I put links around this video for those. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. I'll do my best to answer them. If you enjoyed this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.